There are so many updates going on right now. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the watchOS 4.2.2 that has been released for the Apple Watch with all of the things that you need to know about it, all of the new features and stuff, and if you should go ahead and update if you have an Apple Watch. Because this update is not like the beta update, it is the official update that everyone can go ahead and install. So let's get started. So let's open up the watch application on my iPhone, and as you can see, this is the watchOS 4.2.2, which is actually waiting to install. This update has already been downloaded on my device. It was about 50 megabytes, I believe, but anyway, the installation has been paused because my Apple Watch needs to be at 50%. Oh, here we are, and as you can see, the watchOS 4.2.2 has been installed and the software is up to date on my Apple Watch. But I can also show it to you on my watch if you want to. It shouldn't really be a problem because I have it right here. So this is the Apple Watch and let's head over to the settings, which is somewhere around here. Here you can see that the version is 4.2.2. So this is the brand new version of the watchOS. But what are the new features or is there anything that should be really the reason why you would like to update? I mean, is there anything new at all? Before I start to talk about the new features and new stuff, just take a look at this. Somebody has just stolen my video and this video has been published, but it doesn't belong to the person. It belongs to me. Just take a look at it. The voice has been actually remixed or it sounds different, but it is me in, in this video. So just just listen to this. Let's get started. What's going on, guys? This is Apple Fox Channel here, and as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the Apple Watch and the Watch OS 4.2. As you can see, this is my iPhone rocking the brand. So, what the heck is that? Anyways, I gave the display because it doesn't belong to the person. I Maybe I should report it. If you think about that, there is something new in terms of the features. I mean, something you can go ahead and see, like it has been different before and now it has been changed. I mean, there isn't anything like that. Every change is happening in the background. But as you can see in the, in the Apple security content of the watchOS 4.2.2, if you scroll down just a little bit, you can see that there are so many things that have been improved security wise of course but definitely go ahead and install the update because it is really good idea to do it so as you can see it is available for your apple watch all models you can see that processing a maliciously crafted audio file may lead to arbitrary code execution this is a sentence that i have read so many times in the past it's not very likely that somebody would like to hack inside your apple watch but it may happen so it's better to have it secure i mean security is everything and apple is really really cares about it I mean, either way, they wouldn't release the update. I'm not gonna go through all of the changes that are listed down in here. You can, uh, you can easily get to this website because on the update page in the settings on your iPhone, there is the link provided. So you can click on it and it will be redirected right here. The update is very small, so there shouldn't be anything significant going on. I mean, as I already mentioned, everything is going on in the background. There is also the first beta of the watchOS 4.3, actually. And there are quite some new features, I mean, but I'll talk about that when it drops for the public, because you are not able to go ahead and install it right now. When it drops, you can definitely expect a video about it on this channel. So if you are new here, then definitely click the subscribe button, the red right one under the video, and make sure you won't miss that video. Also, I didn't really update you with the iOS 11.2.5 for the iPhone. The video about the iPad is already prepared to be published. So yeah, here it is. The iOS 11.2.5 has just been requested. It's gonna take some time for the update to install, but basically this update contains uh, the support for the HomePod and also this new feature for the serial, which is now able to read out the news for you. I mean, it should be really, really useful in the future. But anyways, let's come back to the home screen because it doesn't work right now because I haven't updated just yet. And also it only works in three countries, in the UK, US and Australia. So these are the two things that you need to know about it in terms of the features. Like these are the things that have been added to the iPhone. And also security wise, if you click on the link down below, you're gonna find out all of the things that have been improved or have been patched in terms of the security. By the way, I would also like to point out that Australia is not the country in Europe and also that there are no kangaroos in Austria. I, I just don't get it like why people are not able to learn this. But anyways, the update has been completed now and let's take a look at the storage before and after the update. Let's hop inside the photos right here. And as you can see, this is the iOS 11.2.2 and the capacity is 64 gigabytes because this is the iPhone 10, as you can see. And the available is 15.75 gigabytes. So let's fly bright, you know, to take a look at the after update screenshot. And we actually gained about 130 megabytes, 
which is pretty decent. I mean, it wasn't a big update at all, and we actually gained a little bit of storage. As you know, there were some people in the comment section of my video asking about how it works in terms of the storage, and how is it possible that I can gain storage after the update. And it is possible, it has just happened, but anyways, it works because the old update has been deleted, but at least kind of deleted, because it is the iOS 11, it just cannot be erased completely, but some of the files have been deleted or replaced with the new update. And, you know, like, there are many new things in the new one, and I ended up having more storage. This is basically how it works. And we have just got to the end of today's video, guys. I would like to say thank you very much for watching until the end of this video. And if you haven't already, then definitely subscribe to the Apple Fox channel, because as I already mentioned, I covered the iOS update, watchOS updates, some other stuff about the iPhone, Apple Watch, and also the iPad. So make sure you won't miss those videos. And have a nice day, and see you in the next one. Peace out.